that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Sheku Kuyate. Lanzini. Hernandez. Neatly intercepted. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. They've opened them up here. Hit the bar. Couldn't make a chance with this tackle. Surely. That's the old one-two. So quick, one after the other. He's doubled up here with his second goal and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Let's see the replay now. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Javier Hernandez. got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous Preston won the ball well forward Ziyech and he's put it away well he's not far out but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances and he was well they've increased their lead here and that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, the, the much better team out here today, and that scoreline reflects that. Different angle on it here. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Pablo Zavaleta. Well, this attack... Got a bit of menace to it. Good defending. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Space to try and hit it now. That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Ericsson's corner. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Javier Hernandez. Lanzini. Good forward play from them. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. They might have played him in here. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Rasmussen. Now this is an interesting attack. It could be a chance. And he's put it away beautifully. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat-trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him.
It is decision day in the semi-final of the Champions Cup. Second leg it was a very good first leg. There's still plenty of room for both sides to express themselves. It is very well set up for this second leg. The away side bringing a lead with them. Yeah, well, they did their job at home to get that little cushion and now all they've got to do is just try and defend if they keep a clean sheet here they'll be through the match today is Ajax against Barcelona and Ajax are going to line up like this Christian Eriksen starts he was man of the match in his last game and just one out and out attacker and in the shot go oh that's what we've come to see that's a brilliant goal well that set this contest up beautifully and this team know if they get another, they're through on the away goals rule. Well, on aggregate, they're going to have to work very hard in this second leg to get back into a winning position. Well, I think the players will be aware, the manager has told them of the situation. They just need to push on a little bit more now. Now on aggregate, it's 3-2. Now Sergi Samper. Ivan Rakitic. And they could pose some danger now. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there.
Rasmussen. Striding forward, purposefully. A real chance here. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Oh, that could be a big, big goal. They're winning on the away goals rule now. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Great news for the manager because I think he made uh, a couple of changes there and now they're back on level terms. On aggregate, six goals shared, three all. Ivan Rakitic able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. That's a clever pass. I'm going to try one now. Quick reaction time here from the goalkeeper. Axe his corner. Corner played in. Here's a chance. Very good distance to the clearance. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Place to try and hit it now. Ericsson. And that's offside, Christian Ericsson. Scherner. Rasmussen attacking well here. Opportunity now. Oh, it's in there. Oh, that puts them ahead. And uh, you've got to fancy them to go through now if they can just do the basics defensively properly from here on in. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match and he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick. Just to check for you on aggregate, 4-3. Now Sergi Samper. Ivan Rakitic. There's some potential in this move. Rasmussen. Now, this is an interesting attack. Has to score. Well, that's a fantastic goal. I think the manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort, the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. Well, that's put them further in front and nicely taken. Certainly was. And uh, they seem to be heading for a comfortable lead here. So, aggregate-wise, it's 5-3 now. Ivan Rakitic. Sergi Samper. Neat into passing from Barcelona. Rasmussen. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. He has to clear it. Neatly intercepted. Real chance. And it's a goal! It's point blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. I'm not sure he's ever had a day like this when everything he has touched has turned to goals. Well, his teammates will just want to keep giving him the ball at every opportunity. That works out 6 3 on aggregate. Rasmussen. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Scherner. And shoots! Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper.
certainly took it with great aplomb. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. And as you can see from the aggregate score, this has been a very one-sided contest. Luis Suarez. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Shots on here. Oh, fantastic goal. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is a knack. And the way he's hit this one, he's flew off his boot to beat the keeper. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. There's no hiding from the details of the aggregate score to show how one-sided this tie has been. Sergio Busquets. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Tackle goes in. Sergi Samper. A very good first half of the Rasmussen. Striding forward purposefully. A real chance here. So the referee blows and it's off and running for the second half of the Champions Cup semi-final. Well, we're getting to the point now where nobody can afford to make a mistake. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Rasmussen. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. The shot's up! They scored! Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. And what a finish this was. Really did put his boot through it to find the left-hand side. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. And as you can see from the aggregate score, this has been a very one-sided contest. Luis Suarez. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. The attack now from Ajax. Ivan Rakitic. Luis Suarez. The edge. Schoener. Come back to get a touch and get involved in the game. And now he's looking for some support. Here's a chance. And he scores spectacularly. No heart in mouth time for the player that's hit it, but he's got his just rewards. It's a goal. Well, you can see how close that was to actually hitting the bar, but it's into the roof of the net. Spectacular. It is, and the keeper couldn't get across. It was a decent strike.
that's never enough. Cause when you lose the one you love, you might find it hard to cry until it's only you. And everybody else who left the room, you might feel what it's like to not know how to feel. You see my old lady's old man just now left And there's nothing I can say except this long away It rest is a good thing and all good things must come to an end It's right in front of me so there's no reason to pretend except I'm afraid to die if this were a movie You'd be taking our kids to school And I would be Channing Tatum or somebody, somebody, somebody If you could make them proud, you could leave the world and feel like you achieved the things you hope to do. Cause honestly, I don't feel ordinary cause I haven't left my house in a while. Tell them that it's only temporary. I'm trying my best to smile. But that's never enough. It's been a season-long crusade, fitted in, of course, with the domestic commitments of both these clubs, but how well they've done in the Champions Cup to reach this final. I wonder who will prevail. We'll find out shortly enough. Well, this is a great day for the Champions Cup final. It's contested here, it's got to be played to a finish, and hopefully it will live up to the occasion, Alan. I think so, I think it will, Martin. I hope we rise to the occasion in the way that I think the players will out here today. Quite a call by the board of directors of Atletico Madrid to up sticks from the Vicente Calderon and to come to this state-of-the-art stadium. It's very good and I'm sure they'll enjoy it here, the fans particularly. This is the 11 fielded by Hanover for this fixture. Two banks of four. Wonderful chance! A statement made right here by the scorer of this opening goal in the Champions Cup final. Well, that could be so important because this team's got a very good defence. They all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. Here is another angle on that goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Ajax carrying the ball forward. for him on the day and two very well taken goals let's see the replay now restarting at 2-0 trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation confident with the ball at his feet. Real opening for him. He's hit the post and gone in. Well, it got a bit of help from the inside of the post, but in it goes. Well, that can be truly described as unstoppable when it goes in off the inside like that. It's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. 
on the move and able to cut out the pass. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Here's a chance! A goal! Well, they look pleased with themselves, and no wonder the way they stroked the ball about and created the finish, picked out the spare man in the box. I think it's a 100% record, this Alan, isn't it? He's scored every time he's had a shot. Well, he's got a smile on his face, and why not? Because everything is going his way. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Easy work for the keeper here. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. And here's the shot. It's a goal! Well, you have to say that's great accuracy of the strike because the way he's hit that just under the bar, the keeper had no chance. Well, there is a big difference between these two teams, and that goal has meant it's reflected in the scoreline. I think uh, it's going to be a stroll from here on in because they've got a big cushion, rightly so, well in the lead. It's the kickoff in the group stage, their first match. Yeah, a lot at stake and a lot of preparation got into it. Should be a good one, this. This is how Ivory Coast are going to line up today. Wilfried Zaha starts with Jovinho in the wide positions. Seydou Dumbia is the lone striker. Now the shot! It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. ended up in the back of the net quite high up too yeah i'm not sure whether we actually meant it just to go under the bar maybe we'll find out afterwards so the first goal it's one nil look very good indeed but the move has broken down that's good movement forward here. And in the shot go! They've broken through again and scored again! Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it 
in excellent style, just like the first one. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Second match, match day two, in the group stage of this competition. Yeah, well, already we've seen some fireworks in this competition and uh, maybe a few more to come. Starting line-up for Denmark, Kasper Schmeichels. This with a chance to go into the lead now. It's opened up. That's hit the bar and it's still in play. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Christian Eriksen. There's some potential in this move. It could be a chance. He's blocked the shot well. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. They've opened them up here. That's a good block. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error. Really a wasteful clearance. Now, can he take them on? This might be it. But he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance, it's come to him so early in the game, but I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp, right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. Right on the spot to score. That's not the hardest goal he's ever scored, but he was in the right place. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Oh, look at the manager, he works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Delaney. This could lead to a chance, it's good attacking play. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. It should be! Off the crossbar, and back into the penalty area. Eriksen. Michael Corandelli. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. And shoots! They scored! It's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. 
two for him on the day and two very well taken goals Hi there everybody, welcome to this group stage in the World Cup, no less, and as you would expect in a tournament like this, stakes high, Alan. Well, stakes are high, Martin, yes, and it's uh, the kind of tournament in which you just want to start well, start brightly and nice and positively.
This match will feature Argentina against Denmark. Well, this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed. Must score! Well, they've broken through here. A really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, that getting the right strike on it. Well, here's the goal again. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Angel Di Maria. Bilia. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Attacking well here. Oh, chance. Back into play off the crossbar. Surely. Letting the shot go. Oh, they've got another one. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Restarting at 2-0. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Christian Eriksen. Opportunity here, and it's in the net for the goal. It's his third goal. It's a hat-trick today. He's really been on form. Well, there is a saying that uh, things come in threes. They've come in threes for him, a hat-trick. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today. This could be a terrific contest, and it's underway now. Let's check on the Denmark lineup. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Andreas Christensen plays. To put them in front. It must be. Here's the chance. Here's a chance. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. We'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. And 
that has just lasered into the corner. Unstoppable. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Michael Corandelli. Delaney. Trying to switch on the attacking power. A real chance here. Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances. And it is an act. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Rasmussen. Going forward well. It could be a chance. And it's in for the goal. Patrick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick. Yeah, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. And here they are on the attack. Here's a chance! And they managed to score here. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. And that's another brilliant shot and another brilliant goal. Well, they don't come around too often, but as a striker, I know it's a wonderful feeling when you're so confident in front of goal. Well, what a game this is today. It's a chance for one of these two teams to get into the semi-final. Welcome to the quarter-final of the World Cup. I'm Martin Tyler, and he is Alan Smith. It's going to be fascinating to see how the players go about this challenge. You can tense up at this stage. You know, a chance to get into the last four of this prestigious competition, so let's see how the players handle it. And Germany are going to go for this lineup for this match. Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Jerome Boateng starts with Matt Eriksson. He's in now. Should be. Ericsson in with a chance. He's played away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. Well, that is a fantastic goal. Yeah, he's close in, but he kept his head down. 
first goal, it's 1-0. Bellarabi. Getting forward well as a team now. He scores! The old one-two. So quick, one after the other. Scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get to, it is special, and he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Restarting at 2-0. Kroos. Mesut Özil. A dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Here's a chance. That's hit the bar and it's still in play. Break quickly when they get possession. They're still going towards goal quickly. Ankerson. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. They've opened them up here. Never panicked. Placed it past the goalkeeper. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Bellarabi. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. Mesut Özil. Promising build-up until that challenge. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Opportunity here! Oh, it's a tremendous goal. Three of the best, he's made them play. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick. Yeah, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Julian Weigel. Michael Corandelli. Bellarabi. Mesut Özil. Vestergaard. Cross. Bellarabi. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. It's looking good, this move. Here's a chance. And it's a goal here. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. I think it's a 100% record, this Alan, isn't it? He's scored every time he's had a shot. Well, he's got a smile on his face, and probably not, because everything is going his way. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken.